Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's important video, we are going to discuss about the interview questions that were asked in our systems and this was for level 3 or round 3. So without wasting much time, let us get started and before you know we start let us thank a subscriber who has shared us this question so that it can be of help to others who are watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and here we go so a note from the subscriber is this was a machine round like you know there were some certain questions of questions that were given and they were asked to open the tableau and solve these questions so it were there were four questions here as per the you know the candidate first three questions are practical questions here if you see creating a lollipop chart creating a donut chart and creating a data table showing applications of all the three lod expressions okay and then explaining about role level security so according to me or according to one who is following our channel it should be you know they should be able to solve these four questions with ease but still let us go ahead and solve these questions so first is creating a lollipop chart and a donut chart so i'm creating that so for that what i'm doing is i'm taking a subcategory here and i'm taking my sales okay it's simple we got uh, a bar chart here i'm just duplicating this okay i'm just duplicating this and i'm merging it using dual access concept okay and then in one measure i'm making it as a bar chart here and the other one i'm making it as a circle here but for circle i'm just changing the color here so that you know it is recognizable and from here it is simply you know adjusting your view and sizes so that it can be visible that's it okay so this is your one type of chart and the second i just write and the second one is a donut chart so for that first step is we need to create a pie chart so for that, I'm just taking region wise sales here. I'm selecting region and I'm holding my control button and selecting sales going to show me and using pie here. So we got a standard pie chart here. I'm just making it entire view and I just want to duplicate this. So I'm just creating a dummy column or using a dummy column and I'm writing it as average of one. Okay, and I'm just duplicating this. Your base is ready. We got two, uh, this thing here, two pie charts. Or uh, let us write minimum of one and let's see uh, here also. Okay, now we have two marks here that are created for each of this min one that we have created. Okay, so I'm going to the second one and I'm removing everything from here. We don't need size on sales. We don't need angle on sales and we don't need color also on region. So we got a simple circle here. I'm, I'm trying to reduce the size of that and I'm just making it a dual axis again. And now maybe I'll increase the size or decrease or adjust it according to how I need in my dashboard. Okay, so this is your donut chart. Labels, you can add it how you need here. Okay, so this is your second type of chart that was asked to create. Third was a use case on all the three types of LODs. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm taking a category here in the view and I'm simply writing an LOD expression as a fixed LOD. And I here I'll first demonstrate a table scoped LOD to the interviewer. So I, I will write a total or table scoped LOD and here I'll simply write something like this. Okay, because 
the interviewer is checking if we know all the types of LEDs or not. So I'll just drag that into the view here and we got that. S same likewise, I'll try to create all the other types of LODs and demonstrate how it is impacting our view here. So I'm just writing fixed category and I'm writing sum of sales here, okay? So I'm fixing my sales at a category level, click on apply, okay, and I'll just drag this also to my view. Sorry, it's fixed LOD. Likewise, we need to create for include and exclude. Okay, so I'm writing I'm including uh, maybe customer name, comma, sorry, colon, average of sales. So here, this will give us the average sales at category level here, okay? So that's how we can write and same likewise, you can try to exclude again here. Maybe I'll just uh, create a calculation here for exclude, exclude LOD, sorry, exclude LOD, okay. And uh, I'll just try to write exclude subcategory here and sum of sales okay so here i'm just excluding this subcategory here and i'm giving here but to adjust it according to the view what we'll do is we'll put the view at a subcategory level so that you know, the user can understand so first is at a category level fixed lod we have fixed at category level that is why even though the view is at subcategory level it is fixing the sales at a category level first use case is done table scoped no matter what is the level of uh, the view we have, it is always giving us the total sales. Again, include LOD is giving or including the customer name also while calculating the expression here. Exclude is excluding the subcategory from the view and giving us a sales at category level, okay? So using this, we have com computed four types of LOD expressions and we have shown how the value is differing so this is your actual sales so that way you can show the use case of each lod expression so like this i suggest you keep ready at least two to three use cases for every lod expressions you know every or each type of lod expressions that we have this can help you a lot in your interview process next question that was asked was explain about row level security now this is a very interesting question here i would like you to explain how we can establish a security you know using tableau here okay so first thing is we can go to server and we can use this create user filter and apply on the field that we want so this is a very static process or a manual approach this is the first uh, method of doing or you know create establishing a role level security second approach is we can also do it at a group level okay so here if i go to create a calculated field here under this we have function called as user and here we have an option called as is member of option so using this also we can try to restrict the data okay that is second thing or Third approach is using database approach. There are three methods here. I think I have already explained in a de detailedly in a video. I'll try to put that link in the description box. Maybe you can watch that. That will definitely help you. Okay. So with that said, I think that covers the round three here. Do let me know if you're interested for round 
uh, two questions. It was uh, an assignment task and I want you guys to solve that. If you're okay, I'll create another video and I'll post it so that you can solve that question. Okay, so that uh, round was like, I think three to four hours of time was given to the candidate to solve. Okay, so if you are okay with that, I'll be creating a video next video on that so that you can try to attempt that. So that's it from my side in this video. I hope this video has helped you. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.